Hello, we are welcome again to the channel. My name is Blessing Ejechi. Now let me tell you something. A young man and a young lady met one day. They became sexually aroused and they saw that they were sexually compatible. The man decided to get some uh, condoms. The woman also being a careful person, decided to play safe so that she will not get sexually transmitted diseases. And the man also was trying not to impregnate a woman because he was also very cautious. This is what we see every day where a man and a woman become sexually attracted to themselves. They try to put up all preventive measures so that they will not mess things up. Can I tell you something? It is possible for you to prevent some sexually transmitted diseases or prevent uh, uh, pregnancy. But there is something that you cannot prevent anytime you have a casual sex between uh, yourselves. And the thing is, you cannot use condom to prevent familiar spirits. Condom cannot prevent um, household wickedness. Condom or drugs cannot prevent you from contracting or uh, being contaminated by spirits that will suffocate your life that we want to become an agent of stoppage to your destiny. Anytime that you have sex with somebody, what you have done is you have transferred a spirit from yourself to the person. The same thing also happens that the person also transfers a spirit from his or herself into you. There is nothing that can stop these demons. Sex is a way of opening yourself up to the person you are making love to. The Bible told us that he that joined himself with an harlot is the same spirit with that harlot. Anytime you open yourself up to somebody, you have opened yourself not only in the physical, but also in the spiritual. You become spiritually affiliated with that person. Now, the evil that comes with it, apart from the temporary physical enjoyment that you may actually enjoy, you will have the opportunity of receiving the spirit that has been witch hunting that person. Those familiar spirits that have been making sure that that person does not fulfill his destiny. Those spiritual husbands that has been manipulating that person. Those uh, uh, witches that has actually gained an inroad into the person's life, automatically gains an inroad into your life. When you have sexual relationship with a person that is not your spouse, you have created a door you have actually made a loophole into your life so that those uh, familiar spirits that is residing in the heart of that person you are having that sexual relationship with will come in. There is no condom that will be able to prevent this. There is no drug that can cure this. It only takes spiritual intervention. So let me call your attention to it that you are using condom does not mean that you are safe from these spirits. You know, spirits are stronger than physical things because the spiritual world controls the physical. Many people today have lost their businesses. They lost their lives. They lost the glory, their crown, as a result of having sexual relationship with the people that they were not supposed to have 
this sexual relationship with. Now, the question is today, who are the people you are having this sexual relationship with? Your life can go to the level or to the extent of the people you have had sexual relationship with. If you mistakenly have sexual relationship with people who are mission, who are on a mission to kill you, you have subjected yourself to them. There are many people's businesses that have crumbled as a result of the kind of people they opened themselves up. Now look at Samson. Samson was a very strong uh, person who was anointed by God to save the nation of Israel. But what made him to fall? A woman. This woman was able to gain entrance into his life and shaved his hair. He took his glory. He took his crown. He took his strength, his power. Who are you giving your power to? The, this lady, you know, you are sleeping with different men. Let me tell you, we are in an era of wickedness. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who knows it? Do you know the intention of the people that are coming to you, trying to have one night stand with you? Do you know the reason why they are coming to you? I heard the story of a lady on Facebook on how a man slept with her. After this man slept with her, she began to see maggot coming out of her private part. You see, this man has used this lady for money ritual. Now, after some time, the man absconded. He was no longer receiving the man's call, and the man has blocked her from every source of connection, all social media and numbers. He blocked this woman, and this woman cannot see her. Is that person that is coming on a mission? Stop exposing yourself to wickedness. Stop submitting yourself on the altar of idolatry. Stop making yourself prone to the devil for attack. Your condom cannot prevent these things. Drugs will not be able to take it away. You can only be safe when you decide to abstain from anything that will dirty your garment. You have a gamut of glory. You have a gamut of sources. God has anointed you. God said, I know the thought I have towards you. A thought for good and not of evil. A thought to give you an expected end. That is a future. God wants to bless you. And you cannot rob yourself with swine and decide to go far in life. You cannot play with swine and decide not to be stained. Most of the people that are coming to you for sexual relationships as swine, they want to take your glory. You cannot put your gold on swine and decide to be on the altar that God wants you to be. Today, I would like you to have a change of heart because God is preventing you. God wants you to be the person he wants you to be. He doesn't want your destiny to be rubbed on the mud. He doesn't want your destiny to go the way the devil wants it to go. God has a plan for you. And when you stick to the plan of God, the Lord will continually bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.